Hey everybody, it's Rhonda, and in this video we are going to create a tumbler wrap design with a torn edge feature and a gold glitter outline. This was a request from one of our viewers, and it is to create a custom tumbler wraps that people can add names to. All right. So I have a blank canvas going. It is 2790 by 2460 pixels or 9.3 by 8.2 inches. And that is the size of my 20 ounce skinny tumbler. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to put a torn edge frame in here. And I have a custom one that I made just for this. And let me bring that in right there. And I will have a link. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this frame. Um, if you want to, you can also use uh, Canva's default frames. They have, so they do have a couple that have the torn edges. You just have to look at them and decide which ones you like. If you don't like this one and you don't like any that Canva has, I also have a link below to our Canva frame masterclass where I teach you how to make your own frames from simple basic ones like this to uh, more advanced layered frames with several different layers and such in them. So if you're interested in learning how to make uh, a bunch of frames, you can check out that masterclass and if not, like I said, I will have the link for this frame in the description as well. So you can grab it to make your own uh, torn edge tumbler wraps. So anyway, now that we have all that information sorted, we have this frame in here and we are going to make a glitter background in the frame. Okay, so let me go back in here to elements. I'm going to go to all and get rid of that. And let's go into recently used because I already have a gold glitter background that I want to use for this. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I have my glitter background, but I want to put another image over this and leave just a gold glitter border. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to copy this. I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to hit Control D. Then I'm going to move it over here out of my way just for a second. I'm going to come back here to this original one. And I don't want this to move while I'm working with the rest of the design. I don't want <clears throat> images to accidentally try popping into this frame while I'm working with the rest of the design. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to lock it. All right. That keeps it from being able to move. And I cannot put an image into that frame. It is locked, which is exactly what we want. We don't want this back background glitter frame to move or to accidentally be replaced with another image. All right. Next, we have to decide on what image we want to put in here. We could do any type of image. We could do something like this. But I have in mind an agate image that I created. And I think this is perfect for this style. And I'm going to leave a little bit of the gold border on the right side. Do you see that? And then I am also going to bring it in a little bit on the left so that there is a gold edge on both sides. All right. And I think that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to zoom in a little so you can see it. You can see our edges and we have the gold glitter sticking out on both sides. And that is what we wanted. Okay, and let me zoom back out so I can see my whole image in one. 
And now all we have left to do to create this design to finish it off is to add a name. So let's go to our text. I'm going to grab the heading and I'm just going to use the name of one of my granddaughters. We're going to use Aubrey. And we are going to turn that 90 degrees. We're going to move it out here. And then we're going to make it bigger. Okay. And we are going to center it. And right there is our design. It's finished. We don't have to worry about this being seamless because there is no design here at this edge and there's no design here at this edge. This is just a very simple, customizable design that you can add a name to. And all you have to do is show a mock-up of it like this and you would sell it with this name not even on it because your buyers are going to add their own name to this file. So you are really only doing this one part of the design right here. So it will take you seconds to create these. I'm gonna duplicate this page and I am gonna go over here and I'm gonna use this green agate. Now this one I am going to turn 90 degrees because I just think it looks better that way. I'm going to make it a little smaller so we get more of the design inside this torn paper. And there's another one. You could do an entire series of this style. Let's go look at some other. Let's do um, spring. Let's just search for spring, look at images, oops, we could bring in spring wildflowers, we could bring in something like that. I think that is a beautiful photo that would look absolutely amazing. Let's do it again and search for something different or use a different photo. I'm just showing you how many different options you have for this. Here's um, gorgeous floral in there with the gold edges. But you could make an entire series of Tumblr designs that people can add their own name to. And you could drop that in there, have a beach scene. That looks amazing. This is all seashells. I'm not real fan of that one. How about this one with the sunflowers? That is an absolutely amazing look there as well. So I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to make this type of design. And like I said, you could have an entire series of uh, tumbler wraps that are customizable that people can just add their name to within a matter of minutes, just changing the image that you've put over top of the gold um, glitter background. Here's a fun one, the watermelons, um, dandelions. Let me make that one. Let's move that one. And you can always move these images too to get more of the part of the photo you want in it in there. So there we have that one. Let's do just one or two more just to show you how versatile this really is. And let's look here. Mm, a sunset over a lake. That is beautiful. And again, you have more uh, beach scenes, and there's just so much you could do. You could add um, anything in here, anything that you want. If you wanted to do custom, if you wanted to do custom digital files, you could put this listing up with a, let's say, oh girl, let's look at this. You could advertise this 
as a custom digital where you make the file after it's purchased, all right? And you could add the name and the person buying it sends you a photo that they want on this Tumblr. And you could do something like this. You could add a photo for a customer and a name and sell them the customized Tumblr wrap ready for them to print and make on their own, you know, just print and uh, do their own sublimation if it's an end user. Obviously, if it's somebody who's selling digital or selling tumblers, they're probably not going to go this route. However, there are a lot of end users out there. There's a lot of crafters out there who buy files to make their own items for themselves, not to sell. So this could be an option. And you just create the file after it's been purchased. And you could add their photo that they send you and the name that they want on it, which would be really, really cute. You know, you could, and you could sell these for more money than a standard Tumblr wrap too, because you're doing extra work. Not that it takes you more than two minutes to make this file. So anyway. I didn't ever intend to get into the custom part of it. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make these gold edge uh, torn paper effect designs that you can add a name to. And like I said, you would delete this name and you would just sell the wrap just like this and your customer will add their own name to it. And, uh, or like I said, again, you know, I didn't mean to get into the custom part of it, but if you wanted to do this, add the name and a photo for a customer, I believe you could sell quite a few of these as well. So that's how easy it is to make these. Once you have it made, you simply download it to your Tumblr folder, um, and then you can upscale it in your favorite program and then upload it to your Etsy store. And you are on your way to making some money with these super easy, super, super fast customizable Tumblr wraps. All right. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will answer you as soon as I can.